We are on the big island of Hawaii, right outside of Volcano. We are breeding endangered Hawaiian birds uh, with the hope of someday releasing all of our species into the wild. A lot of different problems. Pretty much anything that could go wrong with Hawaiian birds went wrong with them. So a lot of loss of habitat, introduced predators, cats and rats. So the palila is found on this island and the palila is kind of the one of the hot bird issues of the Hawaiian Islands right now. Their population is really seen to be crashing. In the early 2000s, their population was estimated at upwards of 4,000. And in this last survey, their population was under 2,000 birds. So their population really is going downhill. The palila is the last remaining seed eater of the Hawaii honey creepers. So when the founding finches came to Hawaii and then they all evolved into different, you know, seed eaters, insectivores, nectivores, the palila is the only seed eater that is not extinct. So almost all of their diet out in the wild is the endemic mamane tree, which is a, a legume seed pod you'd find up on the slopes of Mauna Kea. And unfortunately, the mamane tree was really affected by all of the introduced ungulates, the introduced sheep and goats that are up on Mauna Kea, as well as the cattle. Strip down the mamane tree and really destroy the, the tree, and that's the only diet for palila. So, uh, you know, that loss of their native plant and their native habitat has really affected those populations. And so, until those areas are fenced off and the introduced ungulates are eradicated, the palila population is really going to be in jeopardy. The goal of our program is to have birds that are going to be able to go out and be released and they'll be able to be wild birds. As our program gets more successful, that means we're getting a lot more birds. And unfortunately, that means we need a lot more resources to house the birds, to feed the birds. Without people taking an interest in our work and being concerned about conservation in Hawaii, we won't be able to continue breeding as many alala as we can, getting as many palila as we can for a large release cohort up here on Pu'umali. So, you know, we really do rely on, on people taking an interest and wanting to contribute to our project.